In April 8 and 9, we detected in, in our noble gas station in, in Takasaki, Japan, rather unusual detection of two uh, radionuclides. They are xenon isotopes which can tell us pretty much about um, nuclear nature, what we are measuring in the neighborhood. Was, was, there, was there anything else in, in that, that one? We detected xenon 131M and xenon 133. They are actually very characteristic for, for the fission and uh, that's why we use them for the, for the verification. They provide us information about uh, the, the nature of the, of the, of the nuclear uh, event and also provide us a clock or the timing when the fission has happened. This animation is, is showing you the forward modeling from this Korean test site location. And you see here very clearly that uh, possible cloud coming from Korea is, is going over the, the station in Japan. DPRK announced uh, a nuclear test in February and after that we had clear indication in the seismic uh, analysis about the location. We did now a very precise atmospheric uh, calculations and based on that our, our recent noble gas detections correspond very well to the location of the seismic analysis as well. We have clear indication that, that we, we are detecting here a nuclear fission. However, we cannot differentiate if this is coming from uranium or plutonium. We had a primary detection in, in Takasaki, Japan. However, we have seen also smaller detections later on in uh, station in Usurisk in, in Russian Federation. Primary detection in, in Japan was uh, really good and clear and with higher concentration than, than others. It has been a long time since the event, but uh, it only means that, that uh, whatever has been there is, is possibly well contained. Isotopes what we detected are very specific for the, for the nuclear processes uh, that contain fission. Fission is the one that happens in the nuclear weapon testing, and it's also something that happens in the reactors. We have very high confidence on, on the detections what we have. However, we are still working on the sea and narrow down if other possible sources are affecting this detection as well. So far, we haven't seen any other proof on any other leakage from nuclear facilities or something else which could explain this one.